Good afternoon. Good morning. Good. Digitally, it's anytime it, it wants. It is you anytime. Want it okay, be, uh, good. Five o'clock somewhere. I'm good to hear that. So everybody, drink. It's five o'clock somewhere. Okay. Well, we just clean that up just a little bit. Well, welcome back. Uh, I believe you know Flo and I is a little bit of our motor mouth garage, and today we're actually uh, we're in the garage. Yes. It's been kind of fun. It's been a little while since we talked to you. The last time we were in a tent and talking about things, but this is the beginning fun. of 2016. And I think we've got... Uh, no we've got... more ice fishing for me, though. No, you're done ice yeah, fishing? Yeah. yeah, I don't think so, though. The weather we've had in Amarillo this last two weeks, there's still some ice fishing to be done. My backyard, for sure. Well, that's, uh, Speedos in the snow didn't work out too good, did it? No, but... Well, no, it didn't. Speaking it... of that, we're going to be broadcasting from... Florida. Digital dealer in Orlando, Florida, starting next week. Can't wait to get down there and be a part of that, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll definitely... Uh, have a nice show for you guys coming from there. We'll have some special guests down there. What makes Digital Dealer so special, and why do dealers from all over the nation uh, converge? You know, I, I remember when this started, and it was four or five years ago, and it was once a year, and they had about, it was a one-day deal, and they had in about 30 speakers yeah, mm -hmm. in a garage, <laughs> it was, and they put out some different deals, and now it's twice a year because it's gotten oh, yeah. so large. And this year, we were in Vegas the right. last time we went down there, and this time it's in Orlando. Um, Eight to 10,000 people from all the dealerships come in and do it. There's going to be a, over 800 sessions going on. They're, they're about 45 minutes at a turn. They bring in kind of the best in the industry in all the different areas for us to go learn and to learn all the different things. Oh, gosh, everything from eBay to Facebook. Social to, marketing. Um, our very own Mike Good uh, yes, presented yep. at... Uh, uh, digital is dealer. presenting again yes uh, yeah. on culture and what makes mm -hmm. uh, a, a dealership uh, special and it's of course it's it's yeah. the people right those of you that are already you know been customers of ours for a while especially at the Toyota store you know that culture and you know the difference of what we are and it's uh, it's just not a car dealership it's it's definitely something different been around since uh, 1983 and we'll, we'll cover that a little bit more with our special guest here in a few minutes good deal uh, we'll bring him in uh, speaking of uh, special guests mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to announce some of the uh, upcoming guests uh, we're going to have Joe Street, the owner. Yes, sir. 2014 Amarillo Man of the Year. I wanted to ask you now. His uh, some people have asked Street. It's it's not a, just a gimmick. His name is <laughs> Joe Street, and he's Joe's, in the Joseph C. Is, yeah, uh -huh. Joseph C. Street, and he's in the automobile business. Almost lost him to the legal business. He was about to head to law school. Had a little time in the summer, and thought he'd uh, sell cars, make a couple of bucks, and fell in love with the car industry up in Oklahoma and then we were blessed enough to uh, he came down here to Amarillo and started this and has just paved the way for us to have an unbelievable set of stores and that's kind of what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about the street auto group street Volkswagen and street Toyota and the things that are happening and, and bringing them together and that's exciting. it's been exciting this year for 2015 we were talking about kind of what were the highlights of last year nothing more large or grandiose or anything is our new facility at 5000 Sansi. If you haven't seen it, www.streetvw.com. You may, you may be on our website now. It's how you found this podcast. Mm -hmm. But anyway, if you'll go back to the main page and hit that little Google spot, it'll take you for a virtual tour through the store. You got to see it. You got to go through it. It's the most transparent store you've ever seen. Because lots there's of a glass. lot of glass, right? <laughs> right? Both. Both. Oh we just gosh. have lots of glass and I see. We have, everything. Our first caller. we have our first caller for the day. So um, Speaking of that, you have a lot of glass. How much Windex uh, do you guys go through there? <laughs> well, I just, uh, as, as we did, we all bought stock in it before we uh, opened the store because we knew what we were going to go through <laughs> the facility is about 60 percent glass oh my so, gosh yeah it's uh it's really a lot of fun and uh it gives uh, i think it gives our customers a really fun feel we get a lot of comments about it and uh now we did have one accident is that right somebody uh running into the during closet. construction yeah was, one of the guys was, turned turned to run and get something and ran right into was the there glass. any damage no uh -uh, so i mean not to him to the glass i mean let's no, no it didn't hurt the glass so yeah no everybody oh everybody gosh. was yeah hurt his ego and his pride a little bit when he uh when he when he got up and got it clear so wow yeah, so. our callers really want to get through yeah, so. you know what speaking of callers uh we will we do have a um uh, a special guest here uh don headley don and headley she'll be, she'll be, uh, isn't she beautiful some, she's beautiful yeah. um fire, she, vol volu yeah, she volunteers at the lake tanglewood fire department at night that's she's got her hat on right now gotcha, so. gotcha. um also uh, some other guests here it says tex uh are we 
talking nail techs, uh, uh, automobile no, we're, techs. We're hoping to get techs from the big Texan, you know, to come the in big, and talk to us, or whatever, and talk about that big steak or whatever. So that that's a, you know, that's a great deal for seventy two ounces for seventy two bucks or whatever happens, just like our great deals at our two stores. Oh, great. Well, speaking of guests, uh, let's bring in our uh, first one. This is uh, David Walker. Uh, Director of Training and Special, I had to have two cards for his title, Director of <laughs> Training and Special Projects. Uh, let's welcome David Walker. That a boy. Yeah, very good. So there's uh, roving, hey roaming, and rolling. Rolling. So you are the new rolling, rolling reporter rolling, rolling, exactly. so for the Street Auto Group. So Dave comes to us uh, with an unbelievable wealth of knowledge. Got you some fake coffee. And, and, oh, thank <laughs> you. I'm dying. Yeah. So very, very good stuff. So Dave, Dave is our training oh, specialist for both brands. Yeah, it's good yeah, stuff. It's been it? here since uh, 1983. Yeah, 83, yeah. That, right that's there. the original cup of water when we opened the Toyota <laughs> store in 1983. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. 83 was a good year. I believe Eight, that was 82. Yeah, were 82. you even born yet? I was three years old. You were three years old. So I was very, three years very, old. very good to hear. So, okay. Awesome. All right. So tell us a little bit about what you do for the Street Auto Group. Well, mainly just special projects. I mean, when a when a project like is set before Flo me, and I, right? We've been right, special exactly. projects. Yeah. That's well. That's without beeping the microphones. That's one of the nicer <laughs> things you and I've been called. So. Exactly. Uh, when a project is set before me, the first thing I ask myself is it special? And if it is, uh, <laughs> then the first thing they ask when they meet first, you. Right. First thing I get that same thing, Dave. Everywhere I go. So. <laughs> and and if it is special enough, then I'll undertake it. Yeah. Uh, so I do product training with our sales staff. I do help our customers out a little bit when they have questions about technology on their vehicles. And uh, just really special projects means uh, I'm the executive director of stuff that nobody else wants to fool with. <laughs> so that's my... It's kind of like me. They gave me that title of GM. It was general maintenance. Right. Exactly. Just, <laughs> yeah, they fooled exactly. me heavily with that one. So. <laughs> Dave, Dave just did a uh, project for us, and he did the a Passat. one. Yeah, special, special project. project. He right. did the Passat against the uh, Camry, wow. and uh, it was you know supposed to be you know hey Dave let's keep it to thirty minutes and see what we can get done. And about an hour and a half later, salespeople still asking questions, still engaged. Two amazing cars um, in a segment that uh, is a pretty tough segment. You know, there's a lot of good stuff in there. So. That's true. I mean, you're going up against uh, gosh the Accord, the Altima, the Fusion, all of those really nice cars. And it's become a very competitive segment. Mm -hmm. Really, it's become a competitive industry, just to be real honest. Absolutely. Uh, but I know I'm supposed to say this because we have a Toyota store and a VW store, but I think the Camry and the Passat are the best you can get in the midsize sedan segment. And they're really, even though they're about the same on paper, they're about the same price, they're about the same size, they couldn't be more different in just the experience of driving and owning them. So I think it's so great that we get to offer those two completely yeah. different types of people exactly the car that they want without having to go to another dealership. Right. And one of the things that we that we try to get people to understand is that we offer you that shopping experience. You know, they say that most people will shop at least three stores or at least try and go look at three different cars to go at. So we'll put those two there. With 600 used cars plus on the lot at any given time, we've probably got the others. We probably right. have an Altima or we have a Maxima, and we give you that opportunity to drive those. And we tell people the great way to go see whether you want to buy something new is go drive one two years old. In the old days, we used to get people tell us, you know what, I, I was going out of town and we were thinking about buying a car so i rented a you know a taurus or a passat or a camry and you know with a couple of miles on it i wanted to see what it were you know how does it hold up and how does it go and i think you'll find with both those cars that uh, they're, they're just top notch oh they're tremendous yeah absolutely great so um two questions uh from the studio on one is from uh, don headley uh which has more headroom the passat or the camry it depends. We found that some of our, especially some of our salespeople and managers tend to carry their head in a different part of their body than most people do. Right. Uh, so then you're talking about hip room. Uh, and, and reclining seats. And helps. reclining yes. seats, yeah. yes. I will point out that the Passat has a class leading rear seat leg room. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a heady friend over here. If you have leggy friends who uh, sit in the back seat, that's, our, look that's at next Passat. week. Oh, yeah. excellent. In Orlando. <laughs> in Orlando. In Orlando. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, if you're if you're looking for something on that commercial side, if you're selling real estate or you carry clients mm -hmm. and you have to do that, something to consider. Sometimes you don't think about that, being able to say put five people comfortably to be sure. able to drive for a period of time and it, whether it be look at houses or look at property or whatever whatever you're having to carry. I guess Uber. If you're gonna be an <laughs> yeah. Uber dude, you know, oh, as yeah. long as we're gonna talk about all that for those people that are into Uber. And um, so we, have, I guess, Uber is in Amarillo now. So yeah, we yeah. we have really come into the. That's uh, Uber. No, oh, that's Goober. Goober. Goober's, <laughs> Goober's yeah, the yeah. driver. Go Go Goober driving Uber. Now, is there is so. there an umlaut over the uh, over the U and Uber? 
That's a great question, but first you'll have to explain to us what an umla. <laughs> we have a car lot. That's what we had for for lunch. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I, uh, an yeah. umla. Umla. Like, it's it's uh, the two little dots above the U. I, ah. I would think so, probably. I think so. Anyway, yeah. it doesn't. I, yeah. There's an umlaut in your full name, isn't there? That's right. In Flogen. Flugen. Flugen. Exactly. Exactly. So, okay. Uh, our last question is more about the auto industry. You know what? And people uh, want to take advantage of these great minds we have here and ask a one burning question. What goes on when the salesman leaves and says, let me check with my manager? <laughs> now, people How many times that? did that question get sent in? That oh, had to, my, yeah, my that, that is a closely Twice guarded by my mother. Secret. And, you know, it's like <laughs> yeah. I said, Mom. Uh, I think we have a clip uh, of uh, what goes on. Oh, yeah. If you, if you watch the screen here for yeah, just a second, then let's talk about it afterwards. Okay. Now we know. Yeah. Well, probably the, these two haven't been doing it as long as I have, and so with 35 years of doing this in the car business, it probably I had was a, in diapers back then. Yeah, it probably had a whole different meaning in my younger years of selling cars, and <laughs> that guy was you know hiding behind the door, and it had a lot of games to it. Actually, what it is is nowadays it truly is a help to the salesperson. Very difficult for the salesperson to know all the different rebates and whether it's better to lease or not lease or what the deal is with the car. And so we have management staff to help with that. Mm -hmm. They also are looking for the best financing. Used to, there was all kinds of different things that happened with the financing and you played all kinds of games. Ever since the internet's come around, I don't think there's a lot of games. You, the consumer, in most cases, come in and tell us things that we don't know. I get educated by you as much as I get educated by the manufacturer or anybody else because you all seem to find it before we do. Now what that is is just somebody to help that salesperson give you the best deal that we possibly can. Once again, in the Street Auto Group, it's all about you, the customer. We're going we're gonna to show you the difference. We talked a little bit about leasing. Yes, 20 years ago, I would not have been a proponent of leasing. Today, I am. The average customer in America still keeps their car about 27 months. So the, you sit there and say, well, I want to own the car. Well, guess what? You don't. The bank does if you've signed up for a 72-month deal. We're going to show you ways to go 36 months, have options at the end of that 36 months, depending what happens to the market. If the market's great, you buy the car, you wholesale it, you put it on Craigslist or do whatever you want, make a few bucks. If the market tanked, the car's worth nothing, you walk in and you say, hey, John, Dave, Flo, I love you guys dearly, but guess what? <laughs> Here's the keys. This one's on you. Yeah. And I'm going to go do something else. Oh, oh great. great. Wonderful. Here, hey, Dave, there's another one, you know. <laughs> Ting. Yeah, there he goes. Well, so, leasing is, it's really tailored to the way that people have been buying cars. And mm -hmm. what a lot of people would do is they would finance long term to get their payments low. But then, like you said, they want to trade in two and a half or three years. Mm -hmm. And so they're they're upside down. They're tanked. They're flipped. They're in the tub. Oh, my you know? We can sit here all day with right. the yeah. thing. <laughs> it's set up from the beginning to do it the way you were going to do it anyway. That's so right. if you're going to keep a car for three years, why in the world would you finance it for six? You know, During that three years, it's still under warranty. Yeah. So uh, depending on what manufacturer it is, chances are your maintenance is probably yeah. still included there. Your maintenance so, is covered with Toyota for two years or 25,000 mm -hmm. miles. Yeah. Well, we wanted to talk real quickly about Pro something Ball. called Car Catcher. Oh, yes. And if you go into our site, you'll see a little a little thing that you can click on. It's a, what are those little things called or whatever. You guys have all that fancy digital talk. A button. It's a yeah, button. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> a dongle or a button or a, whatever. Anyway, we have a thing Link. we call Car Catcher. And it kind of falls into a any car you want type thing. Is we that get, the repo guy that was coming to my door? That's a different that's kind of That's a car different catcher. car catcher. Okay, yeah, but right. that is it another. Is. That, that's, yeah. He has a truck with him. Our oh. guy has like a little net or whatever. Oh, okay. Good <laughs> we get a lot of calls from different people that are saying, hey, I found a car in Orlando that I really want to buy, but they won't take my trade. They won't tell me how to get the car. They want me to produce my own financing, and I can't figure out how to buy this car. I don't have twenty-seven or thirty or forty or fifty thousand dollars to send them to buy the car. And then, how, how do I know it's a good car? How do I know they're legit? I mean, how do I know I'm not going to get taken? If for some reason, this guy is willing to take like a five hundred dollar deposit. I'm scared. I'm scared to do that. We take all of that away. Come see us. Show us which car you found, or we'll help you find that car. We'll appraise your trade. We'll help you with financing. We'll set up the freight. And guess what? If the car comes in and it's not what it's supposed to be, it's not on you. It's on us. We'll chase it back through the through the channels or whatever has to be done to get that taken care of. We offer the most competitive financing by far in town, especially with our two original manufacturers, with Toyota and Volkswagen. You're not going to beat those by by any means. We offer the service as part of what we do. Come in, let us help you, let us counsel you. And if that's the car, we can take the trade. If you got the deal and you want to sell the trade to your neighbor, we can help with that too because we can offer financing to your neighbor or to your cousin. When you think cars and you think automobiles, 
you need to think Street Auto Group. We're here to help you. We've been here since 1983, and it's it's all about the customer. It always We're has been for 82. us. 82, maybe? It's Somewhere in there. 82? 82? <laughs> okay, since 1982. Well, you know, that first six months was a little rough. We <laughs> try not to year. remember that. It was a, a leap year. year. Yeah, it's a leap year. Yeah, there's a leap in there, uh, too. I've been so, here since aught five myself. Yeah, aught five. So please uh, feel free to send us your, your questions, your emails. Our addresses are on there. Our, you know, street.com, streetvw.com, any of those things, streettoyota.com. Well, there's no Uber. They'll get Uber, you to us. Right? No umlauts. Oh, no. no umlauts. We have kind of a better Uber with our concierge service, whatever. We exactly. take you and it's free. We'll take yeah, you yeah. you want to go. Yeah, fresh cup of coffee and just come in for service. The last thing I think we want to cover real quickly is let's talk about service and the fact that we do work on anything. If if you love our service departments, which most everybody do, do, does, do. They, uh, sure. either way, it's Amarillo. We can get away with either one. Everybody do. How many years <laughs> in a row have we won, the service department won Best of Amarillo? Yeah, Best of Amarillo, 10 years running now. Wow. So yeah. we, we were Since part Since it of started, the, right? Yeah. I think we're undefeated. Yes, we yeah. are. So, so we're I think part we of still, the 10-year celebration. So we are the, almost the Muhammad Ali of service departments. Yes, so. we were the... Uh, Float like a butterfly. The mm -hmm. Ronda Rousey of three months ago. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, well, we don't want to take <laughs> that fall. Service. She took those, so let's be careful. <laughs> okay. We will be happy to help you in any way, shape, or form. So all you got to do, pull into our service drives. We'll take great care of you. Good, honest business. Good, honest people. Those of you that know us um, like this, send us your comments. Send us your questions. So yeah. we'll cover it. Like Once again, Flo and I will be coming to you from Orlando, Florida. Looking forward to Next that. week. So I guess that means right. I don't get to go to Orlando. <laughs> if you haven't right. noticed, we keep uh, dodging that question. But, uh, yes. Somebody's got to stay here and write the ship, as they say. Right. Yeah, right. See, write right. the ship. Exactly. It's a so special got, project. It's a special <laughs> project. I'll be Dave's working on it while you're in Orlando. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Absolutely okay. Perfect. So from our beautiful studios in the... Uh, heart of Amarillo. Heart of Amarillo. That's probably where we are. So. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. For